hello everyone welcome to civil mania so in today's lecture i'll be telling about uh, various uh, different kind of things of tecla structures so let me start first let me uh, as i have selected the grids uh, as you can see here the properties of the grids by selecting here the various properties of the grid of um, in the x direction these are having the um, the distance of 3000 and in y direction 4000 height of 3000 and 6000 after that what i will do is i will uh, click in the steel column and i will uh, create the steel columns uh, in the four sections one two three four so let me create the steel columns only in these four sections after that let me uh, create the after that let me do one thing let me select uh, this steel column by double clicking it after double clicking it their properties their properties will arise after that you can change its properties as assembly numbering is c and part numbering is p and what is their name their name is columns you can change its profile to you can change its dimensions such as uh, its height is 400 you can change their height to different or you can change here any kind of indian standard um these are the it by default it is selected an indian standard medium weight beam of 400 means 400 is its height this one is the 400 its thickness is actually the 400 and its height is as you can see here it's selected up to 5500 so bottom select as zero and select this one as 6000 after that modify it and save as column save it after that close it so as you can see here now so this one is a column of 6000 so let me check all this this one is of 5500 so change it to double click it after double clicking it change it to column and modify it so everything is changed similarly in this manner you have to change the columns so after changing the properties of the column double click it after that change it to column modify it after that again change this one double click it after double clicking it change it to columns and modify it so this is how we have modified all the columns now we can go to the to to view from the windows now we can go to the one view let me go to the one view or let me go to the three view as you can see here i have went to the three view so let me uh, press ctrl p after that as you can see here i have created only these two columns now in these two columns let me again go to the 3d view after going to the 3d view these are the four columns which i have created one two three four okay after the creation of these four columns yes, let me create the beams suppose i am creating the beams from here let me create the beams from here to here so these are the beams which are being created actually this one is the uh, this one is not the 3d view so what you need to do is you have to go to this 3d view and you have to go again to the plan view after going to the plan view you need to check for the beam from here to here expand then this one is what the beam is created now again click in this beam after clicking in this beam go to their properties and after going to their properties you can set here at a depth of uh, this one is created at a depth of select it as 3000 middle rotation 
click it as zero modify it so this is how it is created after that this is how it is created you can now again go to the 3d view and you can check it here so this is how it is created in the similar manner you can copy this one by simply placing copy and uh, from here the another level yeah it is copied vertically so this is how it is copied similarly we can create the copy in the other level also suppose i want to copy in this uh, level i can select this one and this one so this is how it is again copied as you can see here now i'll press the escape button so as you can see here now it is copied so this is how we can use the copy options so in the similar manner we can click in this beam after clicking in this beam as you can see here there is a radius so if you will uh, select make this one as the zero and modify it it will become a flat beam as you can see here so this is how we can modify the beam as well so suppose you want to make this one curve then we can give their radius so this is how we can change the properties of the beam as well so let me uh, in this manner we can create the beams after creation of the beams let me delete these two beams delete this beam delete this and delete this after deleting these two beams let me again go to this beam and make uh, each radius as curved radius as 0 0 ok modify it now after that its uh, position as make it as up to the height of 3000 modify it after that after that what you can do is uh, in this manner we can create the different type of beams along with that we can also even create the base uh, plates in the columns let me delete the beams here let me delete the beams this one is the beam i will delete here this one is the beam i will delete here suppose you want to create the base plates for that what you need to go is you need to go to the application and components here after going it here you need to clear right here base plate there are various kind of base plates available here suppose this one is the base place i will apply it select this one after selecting this one press ctrl p now after pressing ctrl p suppose i will apply this one i will so i will press ok so this one is what i have applied the base plate so this is what after applying the base plate what i mean i have selected the beam now i will select its level you need to select its bottom portion so this is how now my base plate is um, now assigned in the similar manner if you want to create here the base plate you have to first select the column after selecting the column you have to select each base level first, first select the column 
after selecting the column select its base point so this is how i can apply the base plate suppose i want to apply different type of base plate of this manner or of this type stiffener base plate then what i will do is i will double click in this stiffener base plate after that the menu arises first you need to double click in this base plate the menu arises then click on ok after clicking on ok next you have to click in the member after that you have to click in the uh, bottom portion this is how as you can see here now the base plate is being prepared so hope it's clear to all of you how the base plates are now being prepared after that if in order to change the rendered view you can go to the view portion and you can change here the parts wireframe model or the partly shaded model or the gray gray view grace grayscale model or in the parts rendered model so or, or simply you can for uh, viewing different different type of views is you can press control 1 control 2 control 3 control 4 control 5 so press control 4 for the rendered view so hope it's clear to all of you that how to create beams of different shape at the bottom portion as well as how to create the base plates now suppose you want to uh, create stiffener then how to create the stiffener suppose this is the stiffener i want to place it and for the placing the stiffener i require the suppose this one is the stiffener horizontal stiffener i want to create it so i'll click in this horizontal stiffener i will click on ok after clicking on ok what i will do is i will select the beam after selecting the beam uh, I will click it here after clicking here as you can see here now my stiffeners are being created as you can see here here though no stiffeners are present but here stiffeners are present so this is how we can also even create the stiffeners so there are various kind of components available here which you can create one by one at different different structures so hope it's clear to all of you that uh, how i have uh, applied the base plate and the stiffeners in the columns okay and uh, remember that even uh, you can change the view suppose uh, this is the figure so you need to simply uh, double click in this open space you need to simply double click in this open space after in this white space when you will double click it you can see here this view after seeing this view you can change here the visibility what what object you need to keep it as visible suppose here i will keep here that only the beams will be visible if i will click apply the columns will be uh, like the columns will get removed yeah, if i will click on apply modify it see now the columns are not visible because now only i have selected the beams but as the beams are not present here the beams will not be visible now select only the columns now click on modify apply it and okay Or click on simply the standard or standard means all the things will be visible see now click on ok suppose I will click in one of the member and I will double click it in order to check its properties see each name each name is actually the column so let me double click once again and check here the object groups what are the object groups available here or i can simply do one thing 
in order to create this as the object groups i will create here select here and i'll create here by selecting as select from model now i'll select from the model these are columns now if i will uncheck it and i will modify it this will not be visible so these are actually the columns only the beams or let me go again to this columns are available here sebas column now let me do one thing let me go to the standard part and select beams now modify it now beams are not visible now if i will click on the only the columns and i will apply on modify now also it's not visible what i'll do is let me go to the object group and click here or simply you can in order to show the everything you can click in the standard and modify it and apply it that will get visible so this is how we can separate different different items as to show whether they are visible or not suppose i have created beams column walls everything then i can uh, in order to uh, uh, select separately i can go there and i can separate each and individual items so hope it's clear to all of you so thanks for watching my video have a great day take care